Many farmers in Canterbury have converted to dairying, chasing higher returns per hectare. Don Hart was one farmer who resisted the temptation, but instead has moved into growing pasture for silage and winter crops for lamb finishing. We farm a 330 hectare property called Springfield Estate. It's one of the oldest farming properties in the plains in Canterbury. Primary business of this farm is arable, intensive arable uh, cropping. Um, but more recently, one of the primary, one of the main drivers has been the uh, finishing of lambs in the winter time. One of the primary things that I don't want to see in Canterbury is mono-agriculture. I believe the arable farming and dairying are a great mixture between them. The dairy farmers need the cropping guys for their feed and for the grain, and we certainly uh, relish them having uh, getting a good reasonable payout so they're able to pay economic prices for our grain. We grow green feed crops in the winter, predominantly the lambs are running through the winter on our green feed crops and they can be kale and rape. These lambs behind me, they're on uh, kale. That paddock was in grass seed and it was harvested and then we took three crops of silage off it and then it was direct drilled into kale. We have learnt over recent years through biological agriculture to lower our fertiliser costs in as far as nitrogen goes and our chemical costs and uh, we, we are really improving the soil and we're really excited about the potential of to grow grass and to grow really healthy nutritional food. We tend to grow two crops in a year. The economics, uh, that's the way we have to, have to do it. So we come out of one crop and we go into another crop very, very quickly and uh, we've got uh, large machinery so it can be harvested in wheat if in a week uh, we can have uh, another crop in and struck and coming up. Andrew Hart shares in a 50-50 partnership with his father. We generally normally winter about six and a half thousand, and that's what we've got on at the moment. But we'll probably finish about eight and a half thousand. I uh, had my first draft two weeks ago where I got 1,100 away and they killed 21 and a half kgs. Um, I generally buy crossbred lambs of the sort of Romney with the Romdales and a few Perindales and in the past we have brought half-bred lambs. And I generally try and buy them sort of around that 32 to 34 kg live weight. And with the crossbred lambs I'm targeting to buy, I generally target male lambs, so I feel to get them to the weights that I want to that the male lambs will do that. In the autumn time when they're going on paddocks of grass that have been harvested grass seed and been shut up for four or five weeks, um, some of the grasses we grow we can target 400 grams. During the winter probably half that, so I'm trying with feeding them good silage and stuff I'm trying to not maintain their weight during winter, I'm still trying to put live weight on them. I've noticed our animal health costs have gone down. Um, generally, they'll get a quarantine drench as soon as they arrive on the property with a 5-in-1 B12 vaccine. And most of the time, I'll find I'm only drenching them once, and then maybe once when they're going on to new grass in the springtime. <coughs> This program was made with funding from New Zealand On Air.